Yes, Mark, just check 10363 is uh, 1,100, right. three miles west of Amity. It's not pile on the left side. And there's my... Yeah, 5266 micro for you. There's my indication There's my full stall. Pitch down. Power up. Positive rate. Bring out half my flaps. Half flaps are going to come up immediately. Establish a positive rate of climb. Then you're okay. going to rest up. The half laps happen immediately. Okay. Correct back to your heading. Okay, good. Okay. Not bad. Go ahead and, and, and uh, show me a power on stall. So I'm going to go to a uh, uh, 100% power and do my my uh, kind of climbing power on stall. You don't necessarily need to do full power in this plane. You can let her know I'm not going to quite do full power. I'm going to do about 70% power because in the plane full power requires a very extreme nose-up attitude to get it to stall. Okay. So, you can tell her I'm going to do 70% power if that's okay with you. Okay, so I'm going to get down to a rotation speed here. I'm looking for about 60, and then I will bring my power up. Okay, let's go. 75% power. Pitch up. Pitch up more than that, you're just climbing at this point. Speed. Okay, we got our stall indicator there. Buffeting there. Right rudder. That's it. That was okay. Pretty good. Yeah. And back up. Yeah, okay, my controls for a second. Your controls. So, got to keep that right rudder in there. Quick, got to make her nervous if she sees that ball flying off to the side. Yeah. So, you got to pitch up immediately with the power input. Okay. And just, Otherwise I'm just going to gain speed. You're just climbing at 60 at that point. That's yeah. just VX climb. Okay, so you got to pitch up with it all the way. Just going down here a bit. Got our heading. Ideally, again, find something in the horizon that you're looking at. Everything's supposed to be visual. Yeah. Let me slow it on down here. Okay, there we go. Fine. Fine. Pitch up. Right rudder. Easy with the ailerons. Stop it. Yeah. That was not good. That controls. You gotta take it easy with the ailerons. You gotta be holding still. You can't be going all over the place. That's okay. gonna throw you into a spin. Yeah. More than. Just slow it down. We're keeping our heading straight. Our rings level, okay? And you just gotta pitch up and like, back all yeah, you know, one. You saw how much. As yeah. you put that power in for maintaining coordination here. Okay, there's 60. Pitch up with it. There's the stall warning horn. There's the mushy controls. There's the buffet. And there's the brake. Nose down. And to the horizon. Climb it out. Positive rate. Okay, that stall warning, it, just, it goes off a bunch when it really isn't stalled. 25 is really all you should need. Yeah. Okay, that rudder out. Right rudder. Right rudder. Okay, there's the full stall warning. Right rudder. Right rudder, there it is. Fort, fort, fort. Left rudder to, reco to recover. Okay, yeah. If the wing drops, you use the rudder to correct it. Okay, yeah. All right. You lost your engine. I lost my engine. So let me pitch my airspeed to uh, 63, which is my best glide. Putting yourself in a precarious situation here to land on that field. Caution. Terrain ahead. Because you're landing on this one, right? Right? Yeah. This green, the second green one over. Okay, go around. Level the wings. You don't go around in a freaking 30 degree bank. You're going to put yourself yeah. into an accelerated stall. Yeah, she probably would have failed you if she had told you to go around and you did that. Because okay. you were about to, you heard the stall warning going off. Yeah. You are about to put us into an accelerated stall, which you don't want to be in at that altitude. Yeah. You level the wings and you go around straight ahead.
And you see, I did all of that. I still have 1,600 feet to go. Yeah. Like, I've got time. So you got to just go through it. That's why practices at home, just going through the steps. A, best airspeed, 63. Done. Best place to land. Okay, there's a field right there. I'm heading straight to it. C, checklist. Okay, my gas is on. My pumps are on. My lanes are on. I got fuel. Everything's it's not working. Okay. D, declare. Like, go through it verbally like that okay. so that you get in the flow of, hey, this is how fast it needs to happen because you may or may not have a lot of time, right? Yeah. Twin Oaks traffic through Win 7 Victor Alpha, turning final 0 2, Twin Oaks. Hold 60. Come on, 60. There's Windsock over there. up and not not use the brakes. Put it down, let it down. You don't want it to fall down. Okay. You want to set it down gently. Okay. So well, that means you have to fly it down. You can't just let it go when it runs out of lift. Okay. Twin Oaks traffic, RV through and seven Victor Alpha, clear of zero two, Twin Oaks. Alright, so not bad. A little harder than a soft field landing should be. So here we're going to do a soft field takeoff. Okay. Want to talk. You want so, to explain what, what yeah. you're going to be doing? Uh, effectively, I'm I'm doing a fairly normal takeoff. You know, it's a little bit higher, and I'm going to uh, rotate and stay in ground effect until I accelerate. So we're going to get in ground effect, accelerate to our VX, which is 60. You can also tell her that this plane gets to 60 very quickly. So we might not be spending a lot of time at ground effect. Okay. Just so she's aware. Um, so I feel I would not be using brakes here. I may have to to get turned. I just okay. Okay. That was just a little bit high. Ground effect, level off, level okay. off, level off. There's Lurated 60 ground effect. Out. And climb out. out. Climb out. Come on, come on, 60, 60. Plus 10, okay. minus 5, that you have cleared my obstacle. I accelerate to VY. Take the rest of my flaps out. Yeah, you really gotta make sure you get the nose down a little more so that you're flying level and ground effect to accelerate and then pitch up. Yeah, and I needed to pitch up more. Yep. Now you're gonna do a short field landing. So as I come in, I'm gonna uh, be coming in at, at 55 and using, using my power to rest my descent. And I'll be uh, removing my flaps and simulating max braking. The beginning of the second stripe is your spot. You have to set it down within 200 feet of that, but not early. Need to rest that descent. Oh. Airspeed. Add power. Rest that descent. Ooh. I'm going to go around there. Traffic, 317 Victor Alpha, turning final 02, Twin Oaks. So add the power, because as soon as you're below 60, it's going to start dropping. you got to have more power at 55 than you do at 60. Okay. That's why it's called the back end of the, the power curve. Yeah. Okay, you have to have more power to hold 55 than 60. Yeah. Right. 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 That I goes down, yeah. add power. Oh, right rudder, right rudder, right rudder. There you go. Yep, then he came in early. But, okay, stop. Um, Don't do that. Power to idle. Okay, flaps up, simulate max braking. Okay, flaps up. 